Okay. Yeah. So we right here at the Computex 2018, and they're booting up the Social Next PC. Hi. So who are you? Uh, I'm Fumitaka Shiraishi. And uh, uh, right here, you have a demo with the. This is the ARM development system. Yes. Right here. And uh, what's the latest for this? The latest. So uh, actually, this box is available from this February, and uh, today uh, we are showing the uh, VMS. Demo. VMS means uh, video management system. So it's for uh, for cameras, security camera systems, or what is it for? Ah uh, yes, uh, main uh, main application will be the surveillance security camera. Security camera. So uh, once it booted up, uh, what happened? What are you going to show? Uh, just a moment. Yeah. Uh, this is Debian. Uh, this is Debian. And then, uh, is it also running here? Uh, this is a video, but uh, uh, running on the Ubuntu. Right. Uh, running on a different box. Uh, different. Uh, running on your computer. Uh, yes. Sending the sending the video over. Ah, uh, yeah, sending a video from the laptop. So. Yeah. And then uh, you're gonna connect uh, directly on it uh, through the uh, switch. And what do you do with the switch? Uh, just connecting each other. Yeah. Yes. And uh, yeah. what does this demonstrate? Uh, this uh, this page mentioned that the, uh, our advantage uh, of VMS on Synquesa. Uh, Synquesa is uh, our CPU nickname, and the Eli is a uh, uh, VMS software name. And the advantage uh, compared to the other CPU is the number of IP camera and the number of user to distribute it is much bigger than competitor. Much bigger. Uh, so does that mean you can? It's, it's the optimal one for doing the security camera management. Yes, exactly. Because uh, each each different core can take care of one video, or what's why can you do so many more? Uh, it's a parallel processing solution. Uh, yes. So. <laughs> So at this moment, uh, we are connecting the three cameras. Uh, one, two, three. And this camera also uh, one of the Social Next product. It includes a Milview. Uh, what? Uh, it includes a Milview ISP. All right. And, uh, in case connecting the uh, three cameras, the CPU usage is not so much. All right. And uh, what, what are some of the other applications people are doing with your with your system? Uh, other application is uh, can I introduce yeah. this one? Uh, so this one uh, running the AI inference. So it, it also uh, introduced in the uh, Dinaro Connect in March in Hong Kong. And uh, at that time, the CNN speed is uh, around 50 to 60, but uh, we improved the uh, CNN speed. And uh, currently, uh, one frame is around 100, and uh, eight parallel input can be supported. All right. And uh, you have some partners also doing some uh, software solutions right here? Ah, uh, yes. Introduce? Yes. Uh, Hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, so who are you? I'm Isa from Triple I. Actually, we are so, uh, software development center, and in the beginning, we do lots of data collection and application service for Taiwanese company, and also we have some cooperation with uh, organization, international organization, or standard uh, organization. So uh, today, I, I would like to demo uh, that we have a cooperation with Social Next. We choose their M11s. It actually is a very small, tiny, and a very uh, outstanding camera, surveillance camera. And we will use it. You can see on the monitor, there are two cameras. 
in, in this area. One is nearby the light, the other one is underground. So yep. this one was in a dark area. So you can see the image is, is a little bit different. Yep. And I would like to show uh, how outstanding of uh, M11 is. If I turn off this light, you can see all the image is in the dark. So no dark light scenario. is good. No light is very well. If I suddenly I turn on the light, you can see yeah. there is almost no difference yeah. and no burst in in the in the video image. So if I'm tracking some object, I will not lose because all the image I can detect the the, the object one frame by one frame. So what is your, is it a software you do or what is it that you have? Uh, in, in, our, in, our, uh, in, in our company, we provide uh, a labeling tool. This labeling tool can click in the data and the label by yourself. And in the factory, sometimes some factory owner would like to make their own robot can smoothly uh, run with their own uh, employees and all the employees will uniform and the robot can detect the uniform guy and if a robot sometimes a robot will cross the uh, the, the people uh, the employees pass the robot know there is an employee or there is uh, 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 some uh, some spy from other companies or that is just a, a, a object uh, which it can uh, neglect. So it's a spy detector? Yes, it can use for spy detector okay. or, or it can also use for uh, international application. For example, I developed uh, some object detection model in Taiwan. But if our, our partners would like to sell it to some other countries and the countries have very uh, very different object need to be detect the company in the other country. They can they can change their own model by our all our software. So uh, and could you maybe run your software on on this uh, uh, solution over there? Uh, for now, uh, not yet. Not yet, but it's not yet. possible. But it's possible. And that because all our solution can be run on window Linux. So it's, it's possible to, to run in different, and, and our software is run, uh, it is right by Python, Python and, and NCC. And this would be an optimal solution to run it on, to have more, uh, potential more cameras, or? Of course. Of yeah. course, and, uh, and you can see uh, the sequencer can run object detection. It can also run the, chain, uh, the, the labeling. And of course, we, we are not focused on model training. Model training is by GPU uh, vendors. They, they can build, uh, uh, you, can, you can use your uh, Google Cloud solution, uh, Amazon, uh, Amazon A M, uh, AWS solution to build your own model. But you can run the model on the edge computing side. Is it an algorithm you have? And we have algorithms. So you can run this on here? Yes. All right. Yeah. How long time will it take you to port your software in this one? Um, maybe end of this month, we, we can deliver the first version. All yeah. right, that's cool. All right, I hope that uh, uh, your server solution is, uh, is getting a lot of momentum, right? Many people interested yes. in, uh, throughout the industry. <laughs> Yes. That's what I'm hoping for. Yes. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Mm, but a kind of a secret. <laughs> kind of secret. Don't, don't tell. Don't yeah. So let, let's walk around. Uh, can you introduce some other other guys at the booth that are doing this? Because uh, Socialnext is doing many different ARM solutions, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 No, not me. Not me. I'll, I'll call okay. him. Message. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, sure. Hi. Hi. So who are you? Hi, I'm Manish, and I am based out of Singapore, taking care of sales. And uh, what are you showing here? What okay. kind of solutions do you have? Okay. You have, uh, we, we have some is this 8K? No, no, that's not 8K, it's 4K. 4K. Okay. So what are you doing with the 4K? Not fully tuned. And that's the camera over there, the camera block. So uh, this is a, a whole solution right here by Socialnext. Yes, that's the complete solution. It can record 4K at 60 frames per second. Yeah, correct. 
Yes, H.265. Yes, H.265. It has a video codec built inside to have 264 or H.265 in codec inside. So, uh, what is this demo about? Uh, this demo is about the capability of the M10V, which is mapped with a module which has 30x optical zoom. It's very clear. Uh, Quality is ha very high, tuned. right? It's still not fully tuned. It's not tuned. It's not fully tuned. But it looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool. Everybody should have a, a 4K video conferencing solution, and every it's possible. 4K TV should have one, that's, right? That's a target with these different design kits for 4K video conferencing or 4K applications, you can say. But you need 4K encoding and decoding at the same time. Yes. You have this? It's inside. We have a four, uh, H.265 codec inside. Play, uh, playback and Record. and recording. Yeah, yeah. And, recording. and streaming. And streaming. And streaming back everything at the same time. Is it an ARM chipset? Uh, yes, it has a four-core uh, Cortex A7 inside. All right. And uh, uh, what is this Lumens? Uh, Lumens is a partner which has developed these solutions. So yes. developed these cameras? Yes. yes this is camera. 4K? No. This is also a 4K camera. This is on a different sensor. This is called the 12 megapixel. 12, mega. 12 megapixel, but it can it, it can do 4K or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It can do 4K. 4K. 8, 8 megapixel. Yeah. So where can I buy this? How much? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can, I, can, I can introduce the our, our third look, party. Let's look at here. This is the. Is this kind of like a development kit or what it's is this? It's a reference design. Yeah, yeah, reference, reference design. design. Yes. And, and this is the final party. product. Yeah, this is the yeah, final, final product. product. It's called the VCB10U. Yes. What, $69, $99? No, I'm joking. Uh, I'm not, we'll not sure. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah. is a four, 4 k Yes, and it has a very good electronic fan tilt and zoom. So you can tilt your images. You oh, it turns pan. the camera. Yeah. No, no, it will not turn. It's an electronic pan. So you must have room, room, room first. Room hmm? first. Zoom in. Yeah. Oh, zoom. Nice. Yeah. Then you can pan. That's digital panning, right? That's digital panning. Yeah. All right. And the tilt is also digital. Nice. And what are you showing in here? Your, your chip is in the GoPro? Yes, the GoPro 6 is based on our MTV chip. Is that the newest GoPro? Uh, this is the latest GoPro 6. Latest, yeah. And uh, why are they using your chip? Because you have the, f the best 4K, what is it, 4K60? Or exactly. Do do? Uh, it can be a standalone solution. You don't need an external controller because the DSP is inside. Moreover, the video codecs are also inside. So it can give a very good uh, solution with a single board for an action camera or a surveillance camera or any 4K kind of resolution. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is a Socionix uh, development kit for the M10V. It is called the Smart Kit. Uh, this can be the starting ground for anybody who is interested to develop a 4K camera. 4K30, 4K60? This can support a, a 4K30 as of now. All right. So 4K60 you have uh, on the control, right? Yes. Um, and uh, this this is some These other... These are some other solutions, uh, some other chipsets. So like this is on uh, another ISP called the M2 Demo with a single camera. This is by one of our partners. This is 4K dual spherical. So this is for maybe no, no, no. a 360 camera. This is of. for something else. For the so this is 360 camera. Yeah, 360 camera. Right. Front and back. So where's your 8K camera? You have? Uh, ah. No, not yeah. at all now. <laughs> okay, but what do you have here? Uh, this is a surveillance solution with license plate recognition. So uh, how does it do that? Okay, has this a has a camera. OK, this is a video feed which is going on, which you see over here. The camera is uh, actually detecting the motion. And it detects the license plate. And what you see over here, it is actually, in uh, from the picture, it is bringing up the license plate number. We, we are working with the VMS uh, partners, Axon, Axon Soft. Okay. So uh, the object detection uh, can be done by the Axon Soft or can be done on the camera side. Okay. So as you can see, there are two parts, there are two cameras here. Okay. So one, one is taking the full uh, capture, the, capturing the full video that you can see the, the, the bandwidth, the data rate will be very high. Okay, but if you have a ROI, a region of interest that you can uh, effic effic effectively, okay, yeah, compress, you just take this, this part, this box will be a very better resolution and just uh, lower down the other resolution. So you can see that the bandwidth is totally different. So it's kind of a, a 
making the, the the bandwidth, the throughput, more efficient. So it's it's more than just doing H.265. Is it? Is this it's, it's kind something of something on top of it to go two yes. times lower? Right, 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 right. Exactly. But is what's the name of this? No, uh, this is our chip. Okay, we are using our this, ISP. This, this method. The, this method is uh, ROI. 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 So this right. is one of the feature of the camera. Is this also good for video conferencing? Uh, video conferencing, yes. Let's say if you have a, a meeting room there, if you want to focus on uh, a part on the face, yeah, on a face, then you can put on the you can detect. Yes, right, right. right. And uh, even you can follow the voice. If you know, if let's say we have five people here, if I'm talking, so the view video will will put my face on the ROI. And part. everybody else out of focus. Well, yes, right. Not out of focus. Well, well, it's, it's lower resolution. Lower resolution. Yeah, right. Cool. But actually, SocialX is doing 8K, right? We do it, yes. We, we met last year yeah. uh, in the Computex, Nanga. Yeah. And thank you for coming back again yeah. this time. Yeah, I remember yeah. you. Yeah. yeah I remember so where's you, your 8K solution? Uh, 8K we are not showing this time. Yeah. It's only decode, right? Uh, no, we have encode and decode. Okay, so the video uh, compression is over there. It's, it's on that part. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Let's go check it out. Okay, okay sure. Great. Okay, let me jump in here. So yeah, we have uh, the video processing uh, solution right now. So uh, I'll have more marketing, uh, Mr. Robert. Yeah, you can help to. Uh, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. So, so, so this is a 4K 60 HEVC um, solution. This yeah. one. Yes. Right. So, um, wh what is it for? Okay. Uh, this is the single chip uh, HEVC codec. Okay. We call it uh, S. To M50, okay. So it can do the uh, HEVC video encoder and video decoder. Is it for a set-top box or? It's for a uh, head end, this kind of things, or uh, Pro AV uh, when you have a, a closed environment to transmit the video, uh, a very high resolution video file. So you compress. Why are you using Atomos? Is just the source or? Yeah, this is actually the, the source, yes, right. It's not using your chipset or something? No, it's no. FPGA something they have in there? Yes, exactly. Yeah. But uh, what is this? So this is uh, from our partners, uh, Advantech. So Advantech is our partner. We are doing the 4K uh, encoding and decoding parts. And even 8K as well. We have 8K uh, products as well. All right, this is for uh, broadcasting industry or? For broadcasting industry, for medical, for education, for pro-AV. Yeah, for data center. Why is this, this one having all kinds of errors on me? Yeah, this What's is going uh, on here? actually um, our, our solution as well. Uh, as you can see, we have our video processing part and the AI processing part. So the, it is using two chips, two solutions from SocialNex. One is the 24-core um, uh, A53 and one is the video uh, processing chip. 24-core? Yes, right. It's actually the same as the, the, the chip that you see over there. For the server? Yeah, for the server. Yeah. The same chip? Uh, the same chip, yes. But uh, video business? Uh, no, it, it is, it's kind of hybrid. So it, it means that, okay, this N30 is the, for the video processing and uh, A11 oh. is doing uh, the, com the computing. That's the, that's the same one that's used for server business, right? Right, right, right exactly. So you have both on the On, the on a PCB. very small, small PCB. Here, I mean, this too. Yes, it's a PCIe part. All right, is this uh, shipping? Uh, it's just launched now and uh, we ship to some customers that are doing an evaluation right now. And w what's good about that? Uh, what's good about that? Okay. Come, uh, Robert, you <laughs> is it the help best, me uh, on the image me recognition. Meta is it for? Okay, uh, we offload all the um, processing from the uh, servers with the AI learning or the uh, inference. So with this car, you can offload a lot of computing power, which you know, the original server can dedicate to the computing for the AI. But for video processing, everything will be done by this hardware. Does that mean uh, you get the smoothest most of these arrows? It's a motion, motion the best vector? one? Motion vector? Yeah, almost motion the best vector? for the uh, on the market. And that's important for, for what? For the uh, for different like of, uh, smart intelligent surveillance or like... Um, Robotics? Robotics no. also. Because yeah. it knows where I'm going. I'm going this way yeah. or that way. Yes, you can yes, see yes, the right, motion right. vectors. Yeah. For, for it knows where I'm going, right? So where? this algorithm can be used for the consumer as well. Like uh, you have action camera, so you can uh, not, you can understand the movement. 
Yeah. Nice. And uh, what do you have in that room uh, next door? The next door is about the, the RSP solution. Oh no, it's not here. That's, that's the window. <laughs> so there's the window. That's, yeah. That's a mirror. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so uh, we have a uh, our chipset. We are we are supporting four different cameras here, as you can see. By using one of our chipset. We can support four cameras, and we do the hardware uh, hard stitching by our chipset. So hardware stitching. Hardware stitching is by ourselves. This, those, this is for a 360. Film 360. Head? As you can see, this is already stitched. Yeah. There are two cameras on top and two camera on, on the bottom. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So right RSP here? and uh, as you can. See, so this is a, a dark room. It's a low lux solution that we are comparing to others. Okay, mm -hmm. we are actually doing the, we are putting the cameras inside this box. Okay. In total darkness, then. Yeah, as you can see, uh, just uh, open up. Yeah. Yeah, we have two dark. cameras, right? Yeah. yeah. The right hand side is uh, our uh, evaluation board, and the next one is in the market. Okay. So you have very good low light. Too. Yes, right, right. The best? The best. In the world? In the market, in the world. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the best is 0 0.1 lux. Yeah. Better than Sony? Mm -hmm. You see, uh, who's your competitor? Okay, uh, we, we are, um, you know, combining together with uh, good sensors such as Sony is uh, one of our very strategic partners. Ah, so use their sensor? Yes. You have the chip? Yes, we have the ISP. The ISP. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, around here is, uh, what, what's over here? Yeah, actually, this is our partner. Yeah, actually, it's, uh, oh, no, no, no so, yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay, this is, uh, this kind of, uh, the, we are using the TOF sensor as well. As you can see, we are doing some demo right here. You can use it uh, like a Kinect. Oh, with the ca with this camera. Yeah, right. Yellow, yellow, yellow color is a detected. Okay, first you have to be detected. Okay, yeah, it's like a mouse. Nice. You can zoom in and zoom out. If you have, I need two hands. Yeah, right. Nice. That's the future of uh, interactive uh, user AR, 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 right. And this is uh, 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 one of our customers as well. They are using our ISP for this kind of uh, security, civilians, uh, police use um, spec. Okay, you can try on it. You want to try on it? What is it? What does it do? Uh, Record? Yeah, you can see some data inside, and uh, it is kind of a see-through uh, AR spec. Yes. So, uh, Social Next is a. Uh, um, yes. Yeah, like we're a leader in, in several, several in, uh, yes. industries. Yes, our right? core technology is three parts one is the imaging, one is networking, and one is computing. And okay. just uh, more and more innovation happening there all the time? Yes, because the world is talking about AI, IoT, big data. So we are, we are working with our partners to deliver such kind of solutions to the market. Yeah.